All right, well, we're hanging out with some tremendously talented artists, and I asked them to come up and give us their interpretation of what Black History Month means to them. Now we're gonna play, let's see if Kenny was paying attention. All right, in no particular order, Isaiah, the nurturing of a mother to child, right? We see mm -hmm. that, and to be proud of your, your heritage and your hair. Exactly. Um, we come down here, some of the negative images we see on TV, we see the young man running away from those negative images so he can become a positive force, lift your head up, was the theme now we see the thoughts and ideas and dreams coming out of the out of the gentleman who went away from the negative images and we carry all of these from youth to manhood correct correct pretty close I pretty good pretty close all pretty right close. good yeah. all right <laughs> divine you um um uh, history, uh, the importance of uh, transferring all of our knowledge to the generations. This is your beautiful wife. This is your beautiful um, a newborn daughter. Mm -hmm. um, the periwinkle uh, is the flower that was placed on the graves of enslaved people in our history. So your wife is making sure your daughter knows the lessons and the importance of all that. Plus, there was a mother who nurtured um, all of us that is a, a key figure in our lives, correct? Yeah. Am I? Got it. Ah, okay. <laughs> I, got, I got like 80% and 100%. Okay, Estina, yeah. this is your beautiful son. Uh, you wanted him to know that, well, the name of it is his story because it's a play on history. He's sitting on history books. History books are very, very important. You wanted him to know his history as a young African-American man and the history of African-Americans in general. He's mm -hmm. raising his hand, not in defiance, but in pride. And he is reading a book which symbolizes the importance of knowledge, not only the knowledge that came before, but the present knowledge that he will acquire go. Um, in the future yes. and presently. Yeah. Yeah. Did I yes. get it? Yes. 100%. All right. I got I got a hundred and hundred and eighty. All right, so good. Tommy, come on over from the repeat. Well, actually, I'll come over. Um, so Lamont can show the artist. So you guys have a really big fundraiser uh, coming up uh, in April. We do, April 21st and 22nd. It's to raise funds for a scholarship mm -hmm. uh, annual fundraiser. And we're going to have artists painting live. Okay. The works will be auctioned off, which is part of the, the fun. So we're going to have uh, several artists, including Stina and Zay. Mm -hmm. We've got Bob Peck and Rich Thielar and Eileen Dorsey and Garrett Whiter. Monster Steve okay. this year and Wordsmith well, it's coming, coming back. into Cleveland. Oh, it was coming back. Them. So hopefully uh, everyone can check that out on Eventbrite. Over the past 10 years, how many scholarships have you guys provided to high school students? About 57 right now. So that is a great, yeah. great, great, um, yes, great effort. Yes, we're very happy that about so that. Tremendous. Very proud. And hopefully they can grow up to become a, a tremendous artist like the ones we have here today. That is the goal, to become an artist. Uh, and, and through that scholarship program, it's not just painting. It's all different mediums. So. Yeah. Um, we just really uh, like to give uh, where possible po opportunities for, yeah. for these kids to well, pave the way. Congratulations on 10 years, Tommy. That is so yes. awesome. I want to thank my artists who came out, Davon, Stina, and Isaiah. You guys have done a tremendous job. Ah, we're going to go back to you guys in the studio. Give yourselves a round of applause. You guys are the future. All right, we're going to go back Very to you nice. guys in the studio. Very proud of these artists. Very yeah. proud. A lot of talent, no doubt. Thank you, Kenny.